Bye. I mean, something's moving here. Or do I have to do like this, or? I mean, nothing's happening. What? What? It Is all set. Okay. So this. Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. Hey, get in. Okay. No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well... Whatever. Okay, let me scrap all this stuff then. Metal parts. All right, good. Okay, what? Might I remind you that you can change the magnet's polarity with a single shock charge? Oh, I need to jump. Okay. Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. <laughs> okay, what if I just jump across? <laughs> There's a dead body down there. Hold on. Okay. Nothing in here. Let me just make sure. Nothing in here. Let's talk to that person. Hey, Comrade, wait, have you by any chance seen Oleg? Depends on who Oleg is. My partner. We worked here together. He kept saying these things would be the death of us. We even bet on who would be dismembered by magnets first. We got separated when everything went to shit, so I don't even know if I won. What magnets? What are they here for? Well, magnetic absorption is used to eliminate all kinds of vibrations. They're a must when you have hazardous chemicals or a nuclear reactor in one room and bore off drilling holes in another. In case of earthquakes, sinkholes, or faulty foundations. And to make sure all those pretty DNA spirals in the lobby, they don't get smashed in a freak accident. So what happened to Oleg? 
I think you won. You obviously got iced before he did. Really? Ooh. <laughs> Glad to hear that. The first good news in a long time. He owes me a drink. You tell him that if you run into his body. Well, but dad shouldn't bother the living. Mind your head. <laughs> he knows he's dead, huh? That's funny. Hey, what's up there? <gasps> Is it just up there? Hold on. Let me get. How do I get up there? Oh no. Okay. Is it possible for me to? It is. Hey. <laughs> Oh, what the f Oh, I fell. Alright, we're here. Those freaks in their goddamn oh, shit. stashes again. What do you want, dude? Are you gonna. That's a door. Does this door open? No, it does not. That. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive okay. device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things, but it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. That's nothing. I'll grab this. Talking about. My partner and I used to service the magnets here. And each day we worried we might get grounded if we got careless. Wore rubber treated pants, swallowed pills, put tinfoil under the hard hat, anything to avoid getting torn apart by the magnetic field. But it was the robots that killed you. Nah, come on, not the robots. It was poor judgment. We should have gotten weapons and body armor. You see, the problem wasn't the robots. It was lack of preparation. You should always know what's going to happen. Hmm? You can never be ready for everything. God damn it, that 
That's a miserable excuse. Take my advice. Hmm? Never part with what you can use. Always think twice before wasting a bullet. Stay low and make short runs from one shelter to another. Never investigate anything unless absolutely necessary. Following your advice would make life pretty damn dull. Do what I did, and you're gonna live longer. Look, uh, there's a hole big enough in your logic to drive a truck through, but whatever. Anything up here? Nothing. Okay, do I climb on this? I don't. Oh, I do. Okay, where I go? That way, but... What's over here? Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. Here it is. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrade Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. What changes here? Hold on. That goes up, that goes down. Get up. So it's blue. If I do this, what will happen? I go up. If I do this, I go down. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. 
But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to... Cartridge slots. Gives weapon its installment elemental damage depending on a cartridge, fire, frost, or electricity install a cartridge. You need to get the appropriate upgrade. Oh, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. How in the fuck? this no it's still I need to put the blue one in the middle. Oh. No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority and collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuroconnector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha oh, wait, Connector I know. for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. Fat boy rockets? Oh, oh. 
So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? <sighs> this place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. Okay, well... Okay, there's one over here. If I switch this... Oh! Oh, I'm... Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major? The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. Oh. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. What we got here? Materials, materials, materials. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. It's a phase. It'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. You know, I could kill him for you. Okay, okay, come on. Okay, do do do. Okay, counterclockwise. Oh, what now? An eternity of action? Huh. Yeah, me. It's not about how to fix it. That's what they told us. I thought that's what they told us. Did you know? Okay, where does this thing go? Oh. Dead bodies all over the place. And there's Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Fuck. Damn it. How was it? Was it? Exit. Hold on.
two, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. So it was one, two, three, one, two. What? Okay, so. Mm -mm. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah. without DNA analysis. Squad 5 performed a series of procedures to delete data in facility 3826's archive, and any references to Comrade Lazarus have been removed from Damas OS social network. We had been ordered to hold a training seminar for the VDNH's junior earthquake system staff about the serious danger the magnets pose to all employees. This is the third one this year. People need to take this seriously. Please select the desired procedure. Let's see, upgrade my glove. Maximum ship skills, increase accuracy of your unnamed shooting. Hell yeah. Okay. Zbedochka? Damage. Okay, fat boy. I don't have fat boy. One sixty. Okay. Polygon 12, okay. Barrel. Polygon 11, Polygon 9. Magazine. Electro, that's what I want to upgrade. EMP generator. Barrel. Yes. Energy consumption and firing. Yes. MP, let's see. Can I do anything? Could install this one. Not have enough. Okay. Mm. 